this is everything you need to know to build a veggie garden fence. Hi, my name's Glenn, and today I'll be showing you how to build a fence for your veggie garden. If you're adding a gate, you'll need to work out where the opening is going to be. Once you've worked out the position of your gate, add an extra 20 millimetres on top of the gate width to allow for gate hardware. But this will depend on the type of gate hardware and materials used. Then mark out your post spacings. We're lining our fence with 1800 millimetre wide steel mesh. So be mindful of how wide your steel mesh panels are. Once you've marked out the position of your posts, you still post and string line your fence. From there, revisit your markings to make sure it's in line with your string line. Following this, dig out your holes. We're digging our holes 600 millimetres deep and 300 millimetres wide. To ensure the posts don't rot or deteriorate over time, seal the bottom of the posts with the bitumen paint before putting them in the ground. Once the bitumen paint is dry, place the first and last post in the ground. Using a level, plumb and brace your first and last posts and temporarily attach the rails to keep it sturdy. Insert the middle post into the ground and attach the temporary rails. Once the posts are in line, mix up the concrete and pour in. Once you've poured your concrete, triple check that your posts are still plumb. Once the concrete is dry, remove the bracing. Mark the height of the posts and the position of the rails. Using a saw, cut off the post at the desired height and create a check out for the rails. When adding in a gate to your fence, you will need to leave space at the end of the post so you can hide the end of the rail. To check out, you'll need to set your saw to the depth of your rails, doing multiple cuts small enough to knock out with your hammer. Then use your chisel to tidy up the check. Once you've cut your rails to size, screw in. Next, cut your mesh to size. And remember, when applying your mesh to the posts, make sure there's no crossover. Then screw the mesh onto the rails using saddle clips. If you're installing a gate like we are, first mount the hinges to the gate rails, then chock the gate to the fence line, then screw on the hinges. Adjust the gate as necessary. Now that your gate is mounted, you can attach your gate latch. Add the latch to your gate and close the gate. Then measure up the position for the striker. Once the latch and striker marry up, screw on the striker plate. So there you have it. Now you have a fed stuff veggie garden, keeping it safe from pets and children. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks.